Hello, my name is Jenny. And I'm Maria. And behind the camera is Rebecca. We're going to tell you about some of the Swedish traditions. We can spill, feel you, Leo, we can spill, boss, you the flick. Oh, we can dance, boom, parada, boom, parada, boom, parada. We can dance, boom, parada, boom, parada, lay. What are you doing? We're dancing around the Christmas tree, as we do every year at Christmas. What are you singing? We're singing about musicians from the town Scarlet Boy. Can you translate it for me? Of course. We are musicians from Scarlet Boy. We are musicians from Scarlet Boy. We can play by line and line. We can play double bass and flip. And we can dance the other way, other way, the other way. We can dance the other way, the other way around. Hey, don't think it was a way off. And the nuts are speaking about it. Hey, don't think it was a way off. And the nuts are speaking about it. Hey, we can take it. I hope Father Christmas will be here soon. Yeah, I've been waiting for him for a entire year. And I hope he'll give me what I wanted. I hope so too. Are you dancing again? <laughs> of course. Don't you do anything but dancing? Come on, it's six months since Christmas. Yeah, we are celebrating the summer. What are you singing about this time then? The little frogs, quack quack. There are no ears and no tail. Okay. Uh, could you show me something else that has to do with summer? Of course. <laughs> The biggest party of the year is when we celebrate the new year coming. Almost everybody prepared themselves many weeks before the night with buying shoes and clothes and prepared uh, hair and makeup. We plan where we will be and what we will eat and everything to make the night perfect. The girls wear fabulous dresses with much glitter and glamour, advanced hairstyles and makeup and the boys are just gorgeous as usual. In the evening we eat a delicious supper after a lobster. A few minutes before midnight to go to Germany. Yeah, uh, a few minutes after the midnight to go inside again and the party goes on the whole night. <laughs> if you want to change something, you can make a new year resolution. It could be something you want to start with, for example, start training or learning a new language. It also can be something you want to quit, like quit smoking or something else.
the early morning hours, a procession of white dressed girls walks in the room with light candles in their hands. They stand in some lines with the Lucia in the front. They are singing Lucia songs while everybody are watching them. Lucia is wearing a white dress with a red ribbon around her waist. She also has a crown with candles on her head. It's an honor to be chosen as Lucia and everybody in the, for example, school have to vote who they think should be the Lucia. The girls in the back also wear a white dress but they don't have a red ribbon and a crown. Instead they have glitter around their waists and in their hair. They also have, hold a candle in their hands. After the Lucia procession, everybody eats Lucia buns. Lucia buns are buns with saffron flavor, and they almost look like two snails which are stuck together. To the buns, coffee is served, and to the ones who don't drink coffee, there's tea or something else to drink. We celebrate Lucia on the 13th of December. People from the Middle Ages celebrated Lucia, but in a different way than today. It was on the 20th century the modern Lucia celebrations were spread all over Sweden. Easter can have two different meanings to the Swedish people. If you're uninterested in church, <laughs> Easter is not more than some day off from school or work. The Easter week takes place in April or March. It's most usual in uh, April when there are many flowers in bloom in every garden, for example, daffodils. We can spend a week taking long walks in the early spring, uh, go for some travels with your family or just sitting indoors reading a good book. The other meaning is if, he, if you are religious, then the Easter is special. It was in this week Jesus ate his last dinner with the disciples, got crucified, feud and <laughs> raised again. The Easter week is filled with interesting church services that are about these Christian things. In the Easter Saturday you have dinner with your relatives. But before that you decorate the house with fake chickens and twigs decked with nice colored feathers. You paint eggs in lovely colors and put on the table. There are also potatoes, meatballs, pits, herrings, bread, butter and sausage. When all the relatives are collected, you sit down and eat, start eating. The small children think Easter is a funny festival. The girls get dressed up with scarves, red cheek, freckles and aprons. Then they visit the neighborhood's houses. They knock the door <laughs> and when someone opens, they give the person a card and get some candy. So, the Easter is a nice festival to celebrate with your family and lovely food. <laughs>